Hey guys, I'm Daisho and I'm here bringing you an arena run. We're 1-1 one one so far with this Paladin deck that I think is pretty good. And we're playing against another Priest, which kind of sucks because Priest is pretty good against this. Um, but, anyway, this opening hand is not terrible. I think I want to keep the Voodoo Doctor to play on turn 1, but neither of the other two are too relevant for me. Those were two terrible cards. Um, those are cards that I, I never want. Like, I would never keep these in my opening hand. Um, but, you know, sometimes it doesn't work out the way you want it. Alright, there's a Raid Leader. That's something that um, I wouldn't mind playing on turn 3 after a Voodoo Doctor and a Reinforce. So I would definitely like to draw a creature here. He's going to coin into a Mad Bomber. So hopefully he doesn't kill my guy. Sweet. Alright, so now I can trade off, which is nice. Uh, perfect. And I can play this 1-1 one, one here, which, if he plays a 3-2, I can still trade um, either with Raid Leader or with Iron Forge Rifleman by playing those guys out, so that's nice. I mean, so this, this start... Oh. Okay, sure. I don't have... I mean, my cards, the cards that I have in hand are okay, but... Yeah, we just have to pay attention to what this card is. Holy smite. I am very happy to get smitten here. Alright, so we're just gonna play Iron Forge Rifleman. I mean, neither of these two cards are incredible for me, but I think I think it's better to play just a 3-mana 2-2 two -two than reinforce. So again, it's this card that we're worried about, not that one, obviously. Um, Novice Engineer is not a problem. I can just go take it out. Young Priestess is also not an issue. Um, probably just gonna trade. It's too bad I don't still have this thing <laughs> in hand. Um... Yeah, I think I just want to trade with that thing. And then play this guy out. Um, I think it's this card is the one that's from my hand. He's, he still hasn't played it, but then again, he hasn't really had an opportunity to play Equality or Raid Leader. Yeah, that's the card he just drew, and that is... Don't know what that is. It's a Harvest Golem. Sure. Really? Okay. Don't have an issue with that. Um, looks like I'm just gonna attack him and play a tiger here. I mean, if he wants to trade there, then that works for me. Um, I've got an Iron Forge Rifleman in hand, and I also have a Raid Leader. One thing that I am gonna worry about this game is um, Mind Control, and I guess Holy Nova to some extent as well. Um, he hasn't had a good opportunity to play a Holy Nova yet, so... Alright, um, I'm just gonna trade my 5 drop. So, trade 5 drops. And now I just have the oper or I have the option of playing this Jungle Panther out and then giving him a 2 for 1 opportunity off, um, off of Holy Nova. Uh, I mean, there's a good chance he has it. I mean, he is a priest, he hasn't played one yet. But if I do play this thing, then it gives me significant board position advantages. Um, I'm going to play it. It's not like getting two for one is going to be that big of a deal. I mean, this guy already got some value by killing the 2-1 golem, so... It didn't get, like, super value since the 2-1 golem was only half of his card. Alright, so that thing just needs to die right away. Otherwise, it's just going to, like, ruin the game for me. So I'm going to play this raid leader here. Yeah, gonna play this raid leader. Attack that. I mean, I also had the option of equalitying. Um, I want to play this true silver champion, but I don't want to get acidic swamp boost. I think I'm still gonna do it. Yeah, you know what? Maybe just reinforcing here is better. Because true silver champion doesn't do me much good just chilling here. I mean, it is obviously good because um, it means that I can play Lord of the Arena and something else next turn. But, like, I wouldn't be able to get this trade off if I had done that. He, like, he probably just wouldn't have made the trade. But I do lose my raid leader, which sucks. But, I mean, anytime that you don't get, like, completely two for one off an Argent Commander, you should just be very happy. Wow, I almost forgot to reinforce. That was 
Like, the only way that this play was reasonable was if I had reinforced. I'm going to be really wary about playing as Lord of the Arena. I do have an equality, which with one ones can basically just turn anything on his board into um, a dead thing, <laughs> which is nice. So, I, I mean, I guess I don't have to worry that much about mind control, but it's definitely something to still look out for. But, I mean, I have two big taunters. Usually taunters are the things that are most devastating when they play mind control. He still hasn't played the card from my hand, by the way, which is very relevant. Um, so it was either Equality, Raid Leader, Lord of the Arena, or Iron Forge Rifleman, maybe? I don't know. Maybe he has played it and I just didn't notice. That would be embarrassing. <laughs> I don't think so. Alright, so he's got five cards in hand, so he's got a slight card advantage since I mean I guess maybe two reinforces counts as a counts as a card, but I mean all I have is half of a true silver's champion and then three cards in hand. One of them doesn't really give me card advantage anyway. Did he really just leave? Because that would be annoying. This game was was really like starting to get very very interesting and then see you later I don't like how loud the uh, the thing is with that it's just kind of annoying so I'm obviously okay not obviously but I'm not gonna play the Archon Protector here because um, what? that was weird um, it just said enemy turn here I'm not gonna play the Archon Protector on my Lord of the Arena here because, I mean, first of all, he could play Shadow Word Death, or he could play Mind Control, both of which would just be god-awful for me. But, anyway. Next turn, we can play this 5-4, and then... Uh, and then Reinforce again. But, I mean, even if my opponent does come back, he's going to be, like, three turns behind. He can still come back, obviously. All he really needs is a Mind Control to, to take that thing. That'd be very good for him. Alright, do that. Now we have a full board. <laughs> so we can't play anything, but that's okay. Because he's dead next turn. If he doesn't show up. All of these little 1-1s little one just picking, picking away at him. Okay. I mean, I definitely had a good chance of winning this game. It wasn't like assured victory or anything, but it definitely was one that could have gone my way. So, I guess I'm never gonna hate on taking free wins, but I don't know. This almost never happens, by the way. I know it seems like it because there was that other draft where, where it happened twice in the same arena, but it just never happens. All right, there we go. So we defeated our priest, Nemesis, with ease, because he wasn't there. <laughs> We're almost a level 25 paladin. And we won two games with any class, all we need is three victories. Guess that shouldn't be too hard. Especially when our opponents just leave. I don't know why that happens so much on this game. It never happens on, like, magic or anything. It just seems weird. Maybe it's, maybe it's just, like, a glitch in the beta where they, they like concede and then it just doesn't do anything or like they just x out and it doesn't do anything so as i said earlier i just n literally never want this card in my opening hand um i, I might try the true silver champion and no i'm not going to because i have three of them in the deck so there's a really good chance that i draw one or i draw like a sword of justice or something like that so i don't want two pieces of equipment in hand all right so they got a, a, a one two three curve but it's probably just going to be one and then skip two and then go to three because I don't really want to play this until... Ugh, sure. Um, whenever a Murloc is summoned, it gets plus one attack. Sure. Okay, we're going to play this guy. And um, if he doesn't make the trade, then I'm just going to Argent Protector up and then get some value out of that. It's just whenever a Murloc is summoned, gain plus one attack. So I don't know why he would take that. It could just be that there was like no other good rares in the pack, which happens a lot. I mean, that's why I have the Crazed Alchemist. But... It also could just be because he's playing a Murloc deck. <laughs> or a Murloc-themed deck. Alright, so... 
That's a little annoying. Knife juggler. I don't really want to trade that, so I'm just going to go ahead and play this Blood Cell Raider. Um, then next turn I can play Knife Juggler into Argent Protector with the coin, which could be nice. Shadow Word. Pain. Okay. And another Murloc. This guy is going all out here. Alright, let's, uh, let's do that. Hopefully I'll kill this thing. No, okay. Um, so he can he can trade both of his guys for the knife juggler, but that's okay with me. He's, I mean, we're both I guess we're both almost out of cards because of that play. But yeah, if he trades both of his guys for the uh, knife juggler, I'm okay. Um, I guess I'm probably okay no matter what he does here. Shadow Word Pain again on the knife juggler would be kind of a blowout, but still he would be just left with this thing and then. I mean, that thing's not great for me, but, <clears throat> I mean, I, I can just keep playing things that, that will trade with it, and eventually... Well, there's that. And that. Okay, and he's just gonna hit me in the face. Sure. I mean, I do have Raid Leader here, which is pretty good. Um, yeah, that is just pretty good. Oh, wow, and Lepernome. Alright, so we're gonna do this. Hopefully we don't shoot that. Nice. Um, gonna kill that, and kill that, and then play a Leper Gnome, and hopefully hit one of his creatures. Thank you. Alright, so now we're just up by a lot. We could get Holy Nova, sure, um, I, I understand that, but I, I needed to make that play in order to basically be relevant in this game. And silence. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's okay. He gets rid of the Divine Shield, which is nice, but... I mean, I still have something to trade with that. Oh, no, I don't. Yeah, I can I can just trade that. Okay, sure. We're doing alright here. We are doing alright. Alright, so all I have on board right now is two 2-1s, two both of which already did their jobs. So playing another thing that will... Um, that will play into Holy Nova is fine. Plus, I think he would have Holy nova if he had it last turn. So I'm not going to play the Acidic Swamp Ooze. I'm going to play that thing. And then I'm going to pass. And I think that's the right play because I need to put some pressure on the board. Four, four power is just not enough pressure. Um, and yeah, if he does something big, then I can tr I can uh, get the Divine Shield off my Argent Commander. But that's not relevant at all. Alright, that makes it a little bit better. But, alright, cool. Um, yeah, I think, I think I'm, I'm fine doing... No, you know what? Maybe it's just better to do this. And then trade the Leper Gnome and this guy. And we just hit him for another six. And now, definitely winning. Have a Hammer of Wrath in hand as well. He's top decking. I guess, I mean, my opponent decided to play a really um, aggressive Breeze deck. So, whatever that's worth. I don't know. But yeah, he top decked a Holy Nova. Not a big deal. I mean, we didn't really play into it, so... I'm gonna gonna play a Swamp Ooze, really hoping he doesn't have he doesn't like top deck a, another Holy Nova, but I mean he could be playing like three of them, so still not a very good chance. <laughs> okay, what could his card be in his hand that he doesn't even want to play it? That's crazy. All right, True Silver Champion is a good one here. Um, I don't think my opponent is quite dead, but he's getting there. I'm gonna play and. Uh, Attack him with this true silver champion though. Summon a recruit and pass a turn. He's down to he's down to eight life and I have a hammer of wrath in hand, so it seems like he won't be able to survive the turn. He might if he draws Holy Nova. <laughs> oh a mind control will not get him there. Not even close. Okay. What cards from my deck will do it? Not that guy. You can still kill him pretty easily here. Yep, okay. Um, was he dead on board? Three, four... Yeah, he was just dead on board, so... <laughs> makes sense. Hey, three victories! Congrats, Daisho! Nice work, bud. 
Managed to win three games. One of them, my opponent, couldn't even stay for the rest of the match. He decided to leave in the middle. So we got three wins. Getting there. Usually am okay with with six, maybe? I don't know. I, I like to get seven wins, and if I do, then I'm, I'm pretty satisfied. Nine is the best. But <laughs> I, I actually have heard from multiple different sources that if you get eight wins, you get more gold than if you get nine wins, which I'm inclined to believe, because when I get nine wins, I almost always either get two packs or I get, like, a, a foil card, or not foil, but a gold card. Speaking of which, um, I had a really shitty run the other day. I don't remember how well I did, but it was really, really bad. Sweet. Um, maybe I want to keep the raid leader in this hand. I'm not really sure. Um, no, I guess I don't. So, I had a, again, I had a really bad run the other day. And... It, ugh. Do I... Oh, yeah, I think I do. Want to no, I don't want to. I'll just Acidic Swamp Boost here. Because, I mean, it would just trade for his, his ability plus plus this thing. And what I'm hoping is that he just shapeshifts, kills my guy, and then um, I can knife juggler. But uh, what was I trying to say? I got a really shitty run, and then I got a, um, a gold legendary. It was only the second legendary that I ever opened in a pack, so <laughs> it's pretty incredible. Okay, so he's just going to kill my guy, which is fine. Um... I guess I'm just going to throw out a knife juggler to die here. But, I mean, if, I guess if he's using his 3-drop as just his, his ability, then that's not so bad for me. And if he doesn't kill my guy, value. Value will be had. Because I can just, I mean, I can just Argent Protector up my guy, kill his, and then, um, or maybe kill something else that comes out. I don't know, we'll find out. So, yeah, he's just going to shapeshift, attack into this, and trade his guy, and, uh, and, and a couple of damage for his face. That's fine with me. Um, so now I, I can just do the knife juggler thing. That's the best part about that play is that I have two knife jugglers. <laughs> um, it would obviously be better to to have two knife jugglers on the battlefield at any point, but I must save ah, all right, sure. I guess that's uh, that's something that happens when you just let them get to four like that. Okay, um, no real good play here. at all. <laughs> um, I guess I'm just going to play this thing. Which will probably trade for like 3 damage on that plus a shapeshift. But not really much else I can do there. Hopefully he doesn't bother killing. Like maybe he's got a 5. Nope. He's just going to He's just going to get his value. And he's got a leper gnome. Yeah, he's gonna obviously make. Oh my God, is he playing into consecration? <laughs> but I don't have any, so that should work out for him. All right, there's a stormpike commando. Not the most ideal thing to play on this board. Uh, you know what is just a reinforce. But I don't really think that that's the best play. Uh, this guy sucks on this board. He just trades with two two power guys. So it looks like we're gonna go with. A tiger. And then maybe I'll just do this and then eat one of his. I don't know, he's still gonna, gonna trade with a two drop guy. A little bit awkward. I guess I could have just made a 1 1, but it just seems so bad. I wanna make a 1 1 at some Like, I wanna make a 1 1 next turn. Oh my god. That guy's gonna die. <laughs> but that is a lot of damage. That's with me playing against all these Murloc decks all of a sudden. Okay. That was some damage. Alright, so that's a pretty good one. Alright, let's do this. And now, um, I think I still killed the Keeper of the Grove, just in case he, uh, well played. Hey, you played a rare! Nice work, bud! Um, I'm going to kill the Keeper of the Grove. I could have killed the Murloc because, I mean, I'm seeing that he does have some sort of Murloc theme. But he also could just have, like, a youthful Brewmaster. Oh, that's so good. <sighs> but, I mean, I guess we do have this Stormpike Commando to mitigate one of them. I don't know. Like, all we need to do is just get off the back foot. That was obviously a very beneficial play for him. 
because he's able to wipe my board and still maintain a board state himself, but... Yeah. Worse things have happened. Lord of the Arena is pretty good. But I think I'd rather just do this, which trades for two of them. Ugh, maybe I actually want an Argent Protector. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Because Argent Protector trades for one of them, and also, like, it semi trades for two of them as well. Because um, it gives this guy a Divine Shield, which, I mean, he could just knock off with his face, but still, that's occupying two of his mana and stuff. And also, just getting Argent Protector is a lot better than Reinforcing, because Reinforce does not trade for one of those. Then again, yeah, if he eats it, if it could if he does that. Alright, um, normally I wouldn't mind, but I am getting close to dead, so that could be an issue. Restore 8 health. I am very okay with this. If I can stabilize this board, then <laughs> I guess I can. Yeah, alright, sweet. So we can stabilize this board and then drop a Lord of the Arena? That seems like something that I want to be doing. I could have played the, the Leper Gnome too, but... Um, <laughs> thanks, I mean... He really, um... He really let that happen. But, I mean, he is a Druid, so... They have a ton of stuff, like, they have that 8-8, eight eight, which... Yeah, alright, that's not an 8-8. Eight eight. <laughs> alright, I, I guess he attacks? I don't know. Maybe he's just, yeah, he's just doing it for the armor. Okay, that makes sense. True Silver Champion. Yeah, I can do that. And I don't take any damage on my Lord of the Arena. And I still get to play this. I only took one damage on my hero, so it's not like I lost too much value on that. And now I've got 11 power taunt on board, and he's only got three cards in hand. And I also have a four power weapon, so... I hear you got a problem. Sure. That guy... My eyes are open. That guy's fine, too. Alright, do I just kill him this turn? No, I can't imagine that. But, I can deal a lot of damage to him, so... I mean, I think I, I may as well play out my hand. Um, and do this. I'm gonna hit him for 15, you know, as we are wont to do. And he can finish off one of, or he can, uh, yeah, he can trade with the Lord of the Arena, but even if he, like, has some way to silence all my guys, then he can only hit me for 7, 8, so, like, I, I don't think I'm in that bad of shape no matter what my opponent does here, but you never know. Could just kill me. <laughs> Swipe. Sure. I mean, that's pretty good. It means that he survives another turn, I think. Swipe is one of the best cards in that deck. Like, as I was saying how True Silver Champion, Consecration, and stuff like that are the best cards in this one, Swipe is definitely one of the best cards in that one. Okay, so he's just using that for the armor. Trade there. Alright, so I have 8 power. He's at 12. True Silver Champion? No. Okay, well, oh. First, we should do this, and then trade here, play Blood Sail Raider, Blood Sail Raider, and reinforce. So, I mean, my opponent had a pretty good turn last turn. As far like, um, there's not much that he could have done to get himself in that kind of position where he's not just like dead. But I'm still winning by a lot. Oh, now by a little less, but I have a two-two. You know, I'm at eight. Okay. So, <laughs> he's definitely um, got some good cards and has been coming back. I shall give him that. It, like, a little while ago, it looked like I was in a position where there's no way I would be able to lose. And now it's a lot more plausible. Even though I have him dead next turn. Unless he deals... Unless he gets another swipe. <laughs> Alright. Well played. Because even yeah, there's no way that he can survive another turn because this guy is stealthy. Um, but <laughs> he really he was just hanging on there towards the end. And he just did not want to die. <sighs> that was that was definitely a stressful game, especially towards the end. But he got there, and 
got to level 25 as a paladin. So I don't I don't think that means anything. Anyway, um, that'll be the video. It was a, a win-filled video, right? We got three wins in that one. So thank you for watching, and have a nice day. Bye.